Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I thought it'd be fun to go through my summer makeup bag to show you what I have on rotation at the moment and I also wanted to create a look using the products I have packed inside. So if that sounds good to you, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. I also wanted to film this video because I'm heading to Calgary for the Calgary Stampede tomorrow and I wanted to make sure I had everything prepared at least physically, because mentally I do not feel prepared. But maybe I'll feel differently once I get a smell for the mini donuts. That's why I wanna go. So this is what my makeup bag looks like on the inside. Full disclosure, I did kind of reorganize it because it looked like a tornado passed through here a little bit earlier. I couldn't show you guys that. So I have my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I just have the blue one at the moment. And I also have the travel version of the Auric Glow Lust here in the shade Selenite. I'm so happy that Sam came out with these. It's so fun to have it in a smaller size. I'm going to use both of these products. I'm first going to go in with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I go in with two pumps and I focus it in the center of my face where I tend to be a little bit more oily. Tend to is not the right term where I am oily. <laughs> I have a very oily T-zone and I'm more normal around the outskirts, but this really helps to lock my makeup on all day. I was not much of a primer person before this or the Milk Hydro Grip. Those primers changed my mind about primers. They actually work so well. Now that that's on, I usually like to let it set and get really tacky, but in the meantime, I'll put a little bit of this on. I just need that e.l.f. product to get tacky in the center here. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this just on my high points. Moving on to more base products. This is the only foundation I have packed in here. It's my current favorite. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation and I have the shade LN6. This is my favorite currently. It's so reliable and amazing for summer because it has a super thin consistency, but a lot of coverage. And that coverage is also adjustable. It's, you can get away with using a little bit or a lot and it looks amazing on your skin no matter what. Um, and it's also one that pairs really well with other products on top, underneath, mixed in, which I have been mixing in a little bit of my Jones Road Gel Bronzer in the shade Light, just to make it match my little tan I have. Uh, this is a little bit light for me at the moment. I have a concealer here, which I have been loving as a foundation. This is the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. This is amazing as a concealer too, but this specific one I have packed is my summer shade for my whole face. This works amazingly as a foundation. It has such a gorgeous glow and a little bit of it goes such a long way so it feels very thin on the skin as well. So it's a good summer option. Uh, today I'm going to opt for my little mixture here. So I take that much of my Jones Road Gel Bronzer in light and then I go in with one, maybe one and a half because that that turned out to be a little bit bigger than I wanted, but you can see the consistency of the foundation here. It just adjusts the tint a little bit. And the Jones Road product is awesome because it doesn't super transform the texture of the foundation. It just changes the color. And I'm going to blend this out using my BK Beauty 101 brush. This is my favorite foundation brush. It's so nice and densely packed and it's big, but not too big and it has like a little bit of an angle to it. So you can still get into the little nooks of your face, but overall it gets the job done really quickly. So now for my actual concealers, these have been my two favorites as of late. This has been pretty much a forever favorite of mine for years and years now. This is the Lancome All Over Concealer in the shade 250 Bisque W. And this is another concealer I have been in a huge phase with. It's the Revolution Eye Bright Under Eye Concealer. I like this one because its tone is kind of on the pink side, so it suits like the pinker makeup products I've been going in with. But today I'm planning on doing a very summery red toned look. So I'm going to be using my Lancome one because it has more of a golden undertone in comparison. But this concealer is so nice. Again, it has that super thin watery texture and it packs a lot of coverage and it just wears under the eyes beautifully. It dries down a good amount too without making your under eyes look like dry or crepey or tight or anything. It's just incredible. 
And you know the drill with this one. It's been my obsession for years and years and years. And I really like how mattifying both of the concealers I mentioned are. So I feel like they grip pretty well for the hotter summer days. Moving into setting powders, these are the two I have packed up. So the first one is my favorite from my under eyes, and this is the Jones Road Tinted Face Powder in the shade Pink. I did mix in a little bit of the white version of this powder to make the pink match my skin tone a bit better, because just on its own, it's quite pigmented, which is great for deeper skin tones, but I just altered it to fit me a little bit better. And I love to apply this with a little powder puff. This one is from Huda Beauty and I just pack this under my eyes. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really in the mood to get my yeehaw on at the moment. Hopefully things will change tomorrow. I think I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed today um, and I'm feeling really tired because my health anxiety this week has been absurd and I feel like it always kicks in when life gets a little bit stressful for me, so. That's always fun. <laughs> it was kind of triggered because I thought I had to get my IUD out this year, but it turns out I have one more year, so I guess I can procrastinate that feeling, but I am so scared for that day for it to come out. The pain of it going in was the worst. I don't know if I wanna get another one, although it's been amazing for me. I'm just so scared of that pain, but I guess it's every five years or so. So I don't know, I'm still debating. And the one I have is Kylina, if you're wondering. But taking a brief pause on that, uh, let's move on to bronzers. These are the ones I have packed. You might wonder why the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer isn't in here. And it's because I'm trying to give love to the other products <laughs> that I have. So I have my Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's tone is really, really nice. And again, it's super thin, so awesome for summer. For my contour, I have my little Milk Makeup Toasted Sculpt Stick. And for my powder bronzer, I have my Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in the shade 02 Medium from Huda Beauty. <laughs> I said that kind of backwards, but yeah, this is such an amazing powder bronzer. I think I'm going to go in with this. This brush has been so nice. I think I actually prefer it over the Moda Sculpting Fan. It's not as densely packed, so it just works really well with any type of bronzer, cream, liquid, powder. It's incredible. It's a little bit more loose, and it just makes it look so, so, so good. I don't know where I wanted to go there, but it just makes the bronzer application a dream. So quick and so flawless. It's incredible, incredible rush. This is the MAC 143S. I almost forgot to say which one it was. <laughs> that would be such a tease. <laughs> I think that's going to be good for me. I don't think I'm gonna add more bronzer, but if I need to refresh it a little bit, I'm gonna put some on top. I don't need any contour either because that Charlotte Tilbury product is such a perfect in-between. It has a little bit of warmth, a little bit of cool. It almost looks like I applied two colors depending on where you look. Right here it looks like a contour color and up here it looks like a bronzer. It's such a good one. We all know I can't pack less than 20 blushes. <laughs> so let's go through the blushes I have in here. Thankfully I have some little mini sizes that always live in my makeup bag. So I have a mini of the Pinkgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a mini of Rare Beauty Believe as well as Happy and a full size of Grateful because I've been really into red blushes. I think it gives such a cute kind of sunburnt flush for summer. I also have this shade from MAC. This is Burnt Pepper. It's so nice. And then I have my two Dior blushes here, Pink and Rosewood. Maybe I should swatch them on my hand so you can see my color story. And here they all are. So we have Grateful, Happy, and Believe from Rare, Pink and Rosewood from Dior. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm and Burnt Pepper from MAC. Today's going to be a Burnt Pepper day and I am thrilled about it. <laughs> So I'm going to first highlight my cheeks and I have this one packed. This is the only highlight I have packed, I guess, aside from the Orc Glow Lust. This is the Rare Beauty highlight in the shade Exhilarate. I want this to look like it's coming from underneath of the blush today. And I'm applying that with my Rare Beauty highlighting brush. And this shade from MAC is very, very powerful. So I'm actually going to 
set my skin a little bit with the Kosas powder in the shade Feathery. Just so that it's not so intense and I don't want it to just completely grip down to my foundation there. And I'm going to apply it with my BK Beauty 111 brush. This is one of those blushes where I have to like tap a lot of the excess off. And with these types of colors, I like to concentrate it in this kind of area right here. Just to give us a sun-kissed appearance. See? Thank goodness I wiped most of it off because that is still a lot. And I'm just going to tap on my forehead a little bit and my chin. Don't want to leave it out. So now it's time for me to do my brows and prime my lids. So I'll show you what products I'm going to go in with. So I've been using the new Ilia brow pencil in the shade Auburn. It's a good color. It's a very simple brow product. There's a bajillion of these on the market, but it's a really good red color since I dyed my hair really, really red again. <laughs> and I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara in the shade Dream Pop again, just so that it matches my hair really well. And this is my favorite eye primer. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer. It's amazing. If you have oily eyelids, it creates the perfect waxy barrier to ensure your eye makeup looks good all day. So I'm going to do that. And while I do, please enjoy the brow intermission. Something I forgot to do before I did my brows is use my setting spray. I have a mini of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, but since I'm kind of getting on the low end of this, I'm gonna just use my full size one while I'm still home. That setting spray just does it all. It truly does. It just locks in your makeup. It makes everything look like one again. It just melts the powders into the creams. It also just makes your skin look a little bit more glowy without feeling glowy or dewy or anything. And it's so strong, like sometimes I spray it into my hair accidentally and it feels like hairspray. <laughs> so now moving on to the eyes, I have a plethora of things here. So I've got these two little eyeshadow palettes. This one right here is the NARS Laguna Quad Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this, just very simple, fun everyday shades. Some really nice shimmers in here as well. I've used it quite a bit on my channel. And I have my Kevin O'Quine eyeshadow palette here too. This is the Contour Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Light. So again, just really simple everyday neutral shades. Then I've got some little single things here. So I have Space Cowboy, which is perfect for Stampede because cowboy, and it's just the most glorious single eyeshadow ever. It has a really nice kind of bronzy base to it with a really pretty fine silver reflect. It just sparkles like you'd think Tinkerbell does, you know? I also have my Bodyography Celestial uh, Eye Glitter here. Oh my god, I can't even get in there with the nails. Uh-oh, how do I... I'm gonna swatch it with my knuckle? How's that gonna work? That is why I cut my nails off in the past. But there it is, right there, look at that. It's just like the more intense version of Space Cowboy. So if you want more of that opaque kind of look to it, this would be a great option. But if you like more of a topper sheer vibe, this would be yours. And then lately I've been missing these. I feel bad, but I kind of forgot about them. They just got kind of left behind and that was just not okay with me. These are my NYX Ultimate Glow Shots in the shade Golden Goji and Come Through Coconut. You can see here, they're just more like a satin sheen in liquid form, really fun for quick looks. Might try to use these today because I miss them. And then what else do I have? I have all of these eyeliners. So I have my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Graphic Pen, which is just a felt 
black liner just in case if I want to do kind of a more classic cat eye. I also have my brown Huda Beauty liquid liner, which is my favorite to put in my inner corner. It just lasts so well. I have my waterline eye pencils from Melt Cosmetics in Cacao and Ivory. I use both of these so much. Um, I also have my Milk Makeup Black Eyeliner. It's just like a gel pencil, so it's really good for smudging and everything. And then these are two kind of more fun shades. Uh, this is the Walk of No Shame liner from Charlotte Tilbury, so it's a really nice kind of ruddy brown. Same with this one, which I don't think I need to bring both now that I'm swatching them here. They're virtually the same color. I'm gonna exclude this one, which is the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade Versatile Chestnut. I just, I don't need it. I'm wild about eyeliner and all of these could serve a purpose, so they're all coming. <laughs> I think I want these to be the centerpiece of the eye look. So I might do a nice wash of this color here. This is from the NARS palette. And let's throw it all the way across my lower two and smoke it out. I'm going for a more rounded effect, but it's turning out to be a little bit more dramatic, so it's going to go all the way out here. And a good technique to get it to be really rounded is by taking your fluffy brush and just doing little circles right on your outer corner with no fear. You just do it and then it turns out good. <laughs> I'm going to take some of the shade Golden Goji with my fingertip. I'm just dabbing off the little doe foot here. Just a nice summer eye. And then I want to intensify it near the lash root with Come Through Coconut, which is the white shade. I'm just gonna go whoop, 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 and then boop, boop, boop. And then, why not add a little Space Cowboy on top, which Space Cowboy reminds me of Pedro Pascal in The Mandalorian, because that's pretty much what he is. Very glittery, fun eyeball. I'm such a Pedro Pascal. <laughs> Now for mascara, this is the one I've been using the most. It's the MAC Stack Mascara in Waterproof. So again, a great option for the warmer months. And also it just keeps the curl of my lashes intact for so long. That's the beauty of waterproof mascaras. And here are the eyes all done. I know, revolutionary. <laughs> um, but now let's go through all of the lip products I have in here. These are all of my current favorites and what I have on rotation. So let's start off with the lip liners up top here. This is MAC Whirl. Then we have Tower 28 Fill Me In. This one is Victoria Beckham 02. This is uh, Huda Beauty Pinky Brown. And lastly over here is Work of Art from Tower 28. Now let's go through the lip products. I have the Armani Beauty Satin Lip Maestro in the shade 01. Then we have the Half Magic Beauty Gloss in the shade Frosty Bitch. Then this right here is the Lip Oil from Dior in Rosewood. And the last gloss over there is Clinique Air Kiss, which is such a nice shimmery kind of nudie gloss. Then on the bottom row we have Kosas Wet Stick in the shade Malibu. Then these are all Romand lip products. So I have two Juicy Lasting Tints, one in the shade Nucadamia and Fig Fig, and this is a Glasting Water Tint in the shade 08 Rose Stream, which is my current number one favorite. I have been wearing it every single day since I got my order from YesStyle. Um, and it's probably gonna be the one I'm gonna <laughs> wear today, most likely. I planned it out in my head. Burnt Pepper Blush from MAC, plus this is going to just create a dream for me. <laughs> so I'm going to line my lips first using MAC Whirl, which has been my favorite lip liner for the summer. I'm 
And then going in with the Romand Glasting Water Tint in 08 Rose Stream. So summery, so gorgeous, and it also stains. All of the Romand ones stain here. And the Armani one. <laughs> and here is my finished makeup look for the day. And that's everything I have packed in my current makeup bag. And that's everything from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see this type of video more often because I could totally do that for you. And I'll also have everything linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.